Okay, so I thought these were a good deal. They were at Costco, like three of them for like 17 or 20 bucks. We have the power go out a couple times a year here just because people run into trees and things. Uh, so it's like, oh, we, like, we should have some flashlights around, you know, in case we get home late with the kid and there's no light and have something. And the problem with these, um, well, they're great and they're bright. They've got two LED, they're just too fancy, right? So they have different modes. One is single LED, dual, single, you know, one of each, and then the strobe. And the part that sucks and is stupid is that the, the modes are activated by interrupting the power with the switch. So if I turn it on, it's just going, so that looks strobey, but that's just the frame rate. And if you click halfway, it switches modes. And there's the awful strobe light that we don't want. Um, but if you turn it on and off, you're also changing the mode. So every fourth time you turn the thing on, it's going to try to give you a seizure. <laughs> so we're, we're going to get rid of that. There's, these are pretty common boards, right? So I took the thing apart. This top piece doesn't thread. It's got an O-ring, and it just snaps in place. I hit it, and the, and the vice was trying to twist on it. And, you know, all you got to do is pull it up or, like, pry it up, and it'll pop off of these rings. Same thing with the, the board itself. It goes, you know, it comes, the whole thing pops out of here. And it's stuck to this. So I'll, I'll kind of show it being assembled in reverse. And it's the same thing though. It's got these four little hooks and it just clicks in. So you can get a screwdriver on that lip and just pop it off. It doesn't hurt anything. Now, this is going to be super hard to see and it probably won't focus. But uh, let me get something to poke with. Okay, so there's a piece right here. Uh, let's try to get there. That's kind of, that might be an okay view. Right there I'm touching right do, 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 that little black dot um, I'll draw it so it's easier to tell but that's a transistor and transistors are just switches so this one's a surface mount so the body of it is black and looks like this and you got a tab 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 what it should be is this is base and then what, I don't I forget between the two one's a collector and one's an emitter but this left one's base and between collector and emitter, you have stuff coming in with resistance, and then it goes out and turns stuff on. And what it is is that the chip, right, this control chip on top, uh, oop, God, I can't do this. <laughs> so this control chip, this, this bigger one, is going to probably do the modes. And when it goes to flash, that's the one sending out flash, 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 flash. But if we try to run high current through that chip. Well, it's not high current because it's an LED, so it's a little overkill. But they'll re actually, the control chip is going to push that that flashing signal into here, and then this is going to do the switching. So if we stick these two together, then it can not It can sit here and try to switch all it wants, but it's bypassed, so it won't actually flash. I don't know if that'll change how the modes work. I don't think it will. I think we'll end up having you know, the same four modes when we click, but at least it won't strobe at us. Um, the other thing is you could just put a huge glob of solder over the whole thing, and then you're you're relying on, you know, these will be jumpered, but you'll also allow stuff to go this way, um, if that's even possible in the circuit. If they have a diode in place, it wouldn't matter. I'm not going to look into it. I'm going to try to jump this top one and the bottom right one. Uh, in, it's small, so I don't know how well it's going to work. I don't want to peel the thing off and ruin the board either. So it might end up just with a huge glove of solder on it. Well, no, I don't know. I think I might be able to get a jumper in there. Okay, so I was having trouble bridging those two pins with it in place and end up getting enough heat into it that it just popped off of the surface mounts, and then I bridged solder across the two. It would be nice to have a piece of wire in there, but it's just too small and I don't care enough. So... We'll get the thing back together and see how it works. Okay, so going back together, uh, yeah, this part, this might be hard to see. It's got two things. One's big and the negative thing goes through it. And it's got this little cap that the positive one sits in. And it's right on the board, tells you which one's negative, but it's that one with the, the nipple. So, here, it goes in place, clicks on, same way you could have snapped it back off. The lens goes in those three little holes, and then you're big side goes towards that lens we put on and it's got little tabs so it only goes in one way when I yeah wait where's the base this part so then I do this part next um, oh, 
you'll see. Yeah, so it clicks, it clicks perpendicular, so this is going to sit in like that, and you want this to go up and down. So this, There we go, so it only goes one way. And then big guy matches big guy. Yeah, you know, it's back together. So we'll find the batteries and we'll test it out, see how it worked. Okay, first try didn't work, so I bridged all three pins and we'll just see what happens. Okay, well, bridging all three uh, did the trick. It now just turns on the, the brighter of the two LEDs on and off. No modes, no goofing around. That's going to be just fine. Now, the question is, do we do it to the other two? And I think the answer is yes. But there's part of me that wonders about that control chip, right? If I can figure out what type it is, maybe I can bridge pins and have it do both of the LEDs all the time. So maybe we'll try to figure out that out, but uh, it's not a priority. At least we have one flashlight that we can trust not to give us epilepsy.